What is up YouTube? Today we're going to be going over a money play find of the Green Bay Packers offense. Now, with this being said, I have made some adjustments to the roster of the Chiefs. We've got Michael Thomas on the team with Slot Apprentice and we've got George Kittle. Now, George Kittle isn't necessary. If you guys are going to be running this, two things I recommend. Either have the combination of Hot Route Master and Protected or have Escape Artist and Slot Apprentice. So we've got Escape Artist and we got Slot Apprentice because if you guys have played regs enough, protected you probably know it does not work in regs it works in mud but it doesn't work in regs for what reason ask clint and rg about that they're, they're the ones that are in charge of coding this game so anyways the play that we're going to be using today is the double south now i'm going to go ahead and go into the depth chart real fast and we're going to just reset the or i guess reorder the depth charts so we get michael thomas in at the slot position so we're going to go into double south and essentially you can use this out of any passing play with the exception of all these jet sweeps and fake jet sweeps and whatever you want to call it but you can use it in stick pa drag pay drag wheel pa double cross bench flanker spot digging up so let's just i'm gonna go into bench let's just let's go into bench all right so we're gonna start off in a simple old cover three really really easy to set up it is important that you do have either slot apprentice or hot route master with protected if you have slot apprentice have escape artist with dashing dead eye because the way this game is sometimes you're going to get random a gap so anyways let's go ahead and set this up first off we're going to go on to max protect and you don't have to do in any specific order but what we want to do is put our tight end on a delay fade the way that we're going to be using this is we're going to be attacking the user on two sides of the field i'm gonna hop off this middle linebacker and also one thing that i forgot to mention is make sure you're running this with the two wide receivers on the wide side of the field reason being is because if you guys don't know how wheel wheel routes work by this point of the year they always run to the wide side of the field if you're in the very middle like the dead center they'll always run to the right so in order to get it to run to the side of the wide receivers make sure you are on the right hash mark which added benefit patrick mahomes is a righty so we're going to have a lot more efficiency in passing this as well next we're going to go ahead and set this up we're going to go block, put our tight end on a check and release Put X on a flat route, B on a little smoke screen. That's never going to be a read. You're going to motion this wide receiver out. And in a cover three, the reads are going to be either the post, which is ran by the slot receiver, the wheel route, or this delay fade, depending on where the user is going to chase. So I'm going to hop off this middle linebacker right here. And I'm going to go ahead and double team this guy's slide. I don't know if he's the one coming in or not. This game randomly flips it for you. Right there, you can see it is. So we're going to go and roll out. And you can see right there, bam dot now that is michael thomas with slot apprentice this is the only way that you can get a wide receiver on a post route again with the exception of hot route master so this is against a stock cover three so we're going to go ahead and do it again set it all up b on a smoke screen a on a delay fade r b on a wheel x on a flat route that flat route all he's doing is pulling out the curl flat on that side of the field to allow that space to get cleared up between the hook curl and the curl flap. So let's go ahead and snap this ball. We'll look for the wheel route this time. Pass lead it to the inside, possession catch, and you'll get two animations. One, if you possession catch it, you'll get the little like grab and fall, or two, you'll get the diving animation. I've noticed that ad catches tend to trigger that a little bit more often, though possession catch still seems to work just as well. So again, one more time for cover three, we're gonna look for the wheel route or this post route. Or even this delay fade, depending on where the user chases. For example, if let's just say A was the user. So I'm going to just go ahead and man him up just to try and represent a user. We're not going to be looking for the post route because the user is obviously going to be able to cover that a lot better than a just straight up cross man linebacker. So let's go ahead and release. Bam. Right there you can see if we were to roll out double team slide, we're going to be able to hit that little delay fade every single time. So that's a cover three. A cover two, this is where... This smoke screen is going to be very important to pull down this cloud flat. Now, there may be games that cloud flats are all of a sudden magically playing the post route. That's just how the game is. Sometimes you can play sticks and sometimes they'll play a corner out. Sometimes they won't. It's kind of random. But let's go ahead and set this up again. Be on a smoke screen. This is very important against a cover two. Y on a post route. RB on a wheel. X on a flat. Same exact reads as if you were facing a cover three. Post, wheel, delay, fade. You can hit this flat route if you kind of anticipate them putting this corner on like an outside third and do a little swerve catch. 
just go into offense only and practice the swerve catch. You'll get a little more comfortable with that. But again, we're going to look for the same exact reads. Let's look for the post on this instance. I'm going to go ahead and double team and slide because more than likely the game just automatically flips it for who knows what reason. Snap the ball. Okay, that time it didn't. But you can see again, same read, post route all day, every day against every single coverage. Now we can look for the wheel route as well out of the backfield. So we've got it all set up. Delay fade, smoke screen, flat route, wheel route, snap the ball. And we'll look for this little wheel in between the vertical hook and the cloud flat. If you get closer, as you get closer and closer to the end zone, it's going to be harder and harder to throw that, especially if they're using it. It's going to be impossible to throw that. Really, the way that wheel routes work and how some of these zones are broken this year, wheel routes and certain corners are pretty much unguardable. So a combination like this, good luck guarding it. You're not going to be able to. So let's just snap the ball again. We'll look for this delay fade this time. So you can see right there. Release, no look dead eye, and bam, off the races we go. That's why Patrick Mahomes is the best quarterback in the game because you can run backwards off your back foot and still make a dead eye pass. Because I, I don't know why they thought that was a good idea to put in the game. Because but Patrick Mahomes makes that kind of throw, so uh, hey, I can't blame them. They're trying to make it a realistic sim game, right? So again, let's go ahead and double team. Hopefully, okay, there we go. I love, I love. When I get unblocked guys, even though I tell them to double team, whatever. EA Sports is in the game. That was a cover three. We'll do cover two one more time. I'm going to auto back into cover two. Set it all up. Again, the smoke screen is not a read. Unless you notice that the cloud flap for some reason or another is starting to drop back. Again, that is random. Sometimes they play it. Sometimes they don't. That's just best set. EA Sports it is literally in the game. So we'll look. Release. Bam, if they were to say chase that post route and the user is chasing the post route, you can hit that delay fade by clicking his corresponding icon. Now, cover four is different. It depends on what cover four you're going against. If they're doing, and there's multiple things behind this. If they're doing a cover four drop show to baseline press with a zoned out player on that side of the field where you're expecting to run this post route, then the thing I recommend is to have your wide receiver run a streak instead to be able to just clear that out a little bit more. From here against the cover four drop show two, it's going to be the same exact read and the same, pretty much the same exact setup. Again, if they're to do something like this with a baseline press and shade underneath or whatever the case may be, this is when you're going to start looking to help clear out that side of the field by streaking. And you're going to limit yourself to a little, little less on what you can do, but still same reprogression, delay fade, wheel route, or a post route. Delay fade, pending on where the user goes. So let's go ahead and snap this ball. It's right there, the delay fade does nothing. Bam, we're gonna hit that post route, and assuming the user is to chase the post, you can hit the fade instead. So really, 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 really simple. Let's go and do that one more time. This is against a non-zoned out player, so just kind of keep that in mind, it is gonna play a little bit different. So let's set this up again. Y on a post, RB on a wheel, delay fade. We'll hit a smoke screen this time. I kind of anticipate that outside quarter to play the post route a little bit better, especially if it was a zoned out player. Ow, 100% expect to play it. So right here, bam. Without a zoned out player, they're not going to play that. With a zoned out player, they will. And that's where you're going to start streaking to clear out that side of the zone. The one thing I recommend with this is you notice that we have Tyreek Kill. He's going to be running the clear route. He's fast, 99 speed. So if they do happen to baseline press you, you may be able to beat them off a line for a one-play touchdown just for the sheer differential in speed. So kind of a couple things to keep in mind with that. Now, that's curve four drops to two. Palms and quarters, you have to streak that receiver. You have to streak B. There's no question whatsoever. If you do not streak B, those outside quarters are going to be able to play it really, really well. And you're going to pretty much get completely and utterly bagged. So let's go into a cover four quarters. We're going to go ahead and set this up the same exact way. X on a flat, R on a wheel. The wheel route, you're going to hit late. If you hit it early, the three of cooks going to pick you off. And we're going to go ahead and streak B with A on a delay fade. Again, kind of anticipating where the, the user is going to use a safety or if he's going to use a middle linebacker. If they're using a safety, just streak your tight end and streak somebody to make sure he stays in his, stays in his zone. But for now, as is, the reads are as follows. Delay fade, depending on where the user would be, wheel route or post. So snap this ball. Right there, you can see, bam. 
that. Now, with Earl Thomas, I don't really fully understand how zoned out work or zoned out whatever it may be. It's I understand that it's meant to give him better coverage in zone, but I don't know how much it impacts like match quarters or palms, how it affects match defense. I don't really, I don't think anybody knows how much it affects man defense, if it affects man coverage or not. Um, but you can see right there with that post route, we're still going to be able to get it wide open. So let's go and do this one more time. This time I'm going to show you the difference between a streak of the B and just a simple smoke screen. So we'll set this up the same exact way. A on a delay fade, this time smoke screen, running back on a wheel, motion out X. We'll still be able to hit this wheel route. Again, it's going to be a late read because the three-yard cook will play it. Big T right there, bam, possession catch. And as long as your guy drops to the ground and possession catches it, you're going to be able to hit that almost every single time. So let's do that one more time. Oh, when you go too fast in this game, it doesn't register. It's 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 a great game. It's a well-designed game. So we're going to look for the post route. And most often, I've... Oh my goodness, we almost literally almost got a gap for no reason. But right there, you can see if that's a zoned out play on that side of the field, it's going to get picked off. So that's the big thing about cover four quarters and palms. You always want to streak B to clear out that deep quarter so you can hit that post throughout a lot more successfully. Now, the final one I want to talk about is, or at least for zone, are cover four palms. Where is, there's palms. So we're going to go back into double south. And one other recommendation I forgot to mention at the beginning of this video is to have a post flag elite two reasons one they run the route better two they get at catches it's that's how the game is i guess meant to be played we're supposed to throw it into coverage and come down with it but in palms what we want to do is we need to streak b otherwise the outside quarter is going to play the post route really really well now michael thomas has i want to say michael thomas has crossing specialist and so if we were to have some of the, like deandre hopkins for those that play regs with a mixture of tom brady you're going to be able to get that post flag elite where it gets ad catches against post flag routes um, and then also better route running as well. So we're going to set this up the same exact way. A on a delay fade. This time we're going to streak B to clear out that deep quarter. Motion this guy out. RBs are read. Your delay fade depending on where the user is or the post route. So let's go ahead and look for the post. I'm going to go double team this guy and we're going to slide right. Okay, that's kind of that's kind of a double team, but again, you can see right there, bam, dot. Now, you guys may be looking at the other side of the field, you're like, wait, the running back's wide open. Oh, snap. Okay, let's, let's show you guys that fun part. This also carries over to a cover four quarter. So, in a, whoops, in a cover four port, quarters or palms, it's this inside quarter, whoever it may be, in this case, it's Earl Thomas, is matching this post drop. If you can get the time, you may find that you'll be able to hit this running back, depending on how the quarter flat and outside quarter plays it, for a one-play touchdown. So let's go ahead and snap this ball. You can see we're going to roll out. You can see, ooh, hello? You can see right there, the wheel route, for some reason or another, decides to <laughs> cut to the sideline. Maybe I accidentally, I probably accidentally playmakered him, but, oh my lord. Okay, let's try it one more time. <laughs> We're going to look for the running back in a wheel route. See if we can fit it over top. If you have a faster running back, Williams has 90 speed. It's not bad. It's not the greatest, though. But you can see if we can pass it to the inside. A little bit more speed. You're going to be able to get it to downfield for an easy one-play touchdown. Speed is what's going to be big about getting separation between the quarter flat and the running back. 90 speed isn't going to catch it or isn't going to cut it. But 90 speed, you're still going to be able to hit in between the quarter flat and the three air cook. That's really going to be the money read for that particular part of the field so let's go and do this one more time again we're going to look for either the running back in the wheel post or delay fade depending on where the user is going to go let's go ahead and just say the user chases y all right we're going to man up the three out cook to our post route and we're going to use george kittle as our tight end so delay fade right there instead because we see the court flat's going to play it we're going to take it over the top and of course we're going to always be looking downfield biggest biggest thing ever and just trying to overcome fluke. So we'll look for this one more time. Why is B on a slant? I think I chose a different play. That's why. So we're going to motion this guy back in. One thing I've ah, thought I put him on a flat before I motioned him out. But be sure you put him on a flat before you motion him out. Otherwise, you can only put him on a comeback route. Snap this ball. We'll look for the running back on the wheel. But you're going to be able to hit that running back out of the wheel, out of the backfield with the wheel route. The three at Cook, you'll find he'll play the post route a little more aggressively. Some games he'll play the flats a little more aggressively. Other times he'll play the post route. You never truly know in this game. You never know. 
You guys can argue about that, but you never know the outcomes of a game. You could play another person another time and beat him 21 to zip. The other game is going to be a close game, slobber knocker. You win or you maybe lose 17 to 14. Who knows? Who knows? But in a curve for palms, you're going to oftentimes still be able to hit this wheel route. Anyways, it's again, EA Sports, it's in the game. And then the post route is going to get open every single time. Delay fade kind of depends on what the user is doing. But we'll hit this wheel route. Come on, come on, come on, game. Okay, nope. Right now, the three of cook is matching. Usually, it doesn't match. It usually plays in the middle of the field. But if it doesn't match like that, hit the little wheel route out of the backfield. Otherwise, hit the post route every single time. This isn't a very good representation of what a user is going to do. Often, you're going to user the three of cook, and they're going to just play wherever they, wherever you think they're going to play. I don't know what people do nowadays, but... Anyways, that's going to take care of this video. One final thing is against man coverage. I don't know if Michael Thomas is going to be able to beat his man because linebackers play the best man coverage sometimes. But you do, I, I can't oh, emphasize this enough. Please do yourself a favor, have post flag elite or at least route technician on your wide receiver. Otherwise, because of how this game is coded, a 99 linebacker is going to be able to keep up with your 99 receiver. That's just, that's how the game is. It's probably how it's going to be. It, that's how it's going to be the rest of the year. So if you want to be able to get separation between your man and a linebacker, then be absolutely certain that you will have post flag lead or route technician. Post flag lead, better catches, route technician. It's just all it is, just better route running and without the ad catches included. Man coverage, the only difference I'd make right here is I might put this guy on a little, like Tyree Kill, for example, might put him on a little drag or slant, whatever the case may be. But most times we're still going to be looking for Michael Thomas on this little post route. So right here, I kind of, oh my goodness, that's the best, that corner, that, that is the best a freaking post route ever beat a linebacker in Madden history. It never works that way for me. But you guys can see right there, it beats man coverage. That's not going to be the best read if you don't have a ability on it because you need abilities to run routes this year. <laughs> I can't believe these words are coming out of my mouth right now. You need abilities to be able to run routes this year. Otherwise, your routes can get smothered by 99 man coverage quarter. <laughs> All right, that's going to take care of this video. Whew. God bless you guys that play mutt. Now, until next time, get in the lab. Oh, check out the link down below in the description if you need more help with Madden NFL 20. This has been T-Meister. See ya.